<laughs> I know, right? Oh my god. I was, okay, so hi, it's Allison. It is Allison Arngrove again in the kitchen. What day is it? Friday. It's Friday and it's past 11.30. Tisk, tisk, tisk. But what is happening? What is happening is who, who's going to do the cooking? Um, we're doing who's going to do the cooking, but have you ever, you ever go to make something? Hi! Hi, Hillary. Hi. Hi, everybody's here. Um, you ever go to make something and you have milk and the milk is completely fine yesterday and then you take the milk out of the fridge and you taste it and the milk is not fresh anymore and you're like, what is happening? Um, and it's dated to not go off for like another week and a half, yet it clearly is starting to get, yes, that is what happened. And I had to go get fresh milk. It's just like, yes, that's perfect. I had to get fresh milk and milk's gone bad. It'd be terrible, 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 terrible. So we have fresh milk. And now I'm like waiting to water it. Water to boil, which takes apparently a year. Watched pot never boils. And it's true. So what the heck am I doing? Well, here's this recipe. This recipe, do we even have a name for it? This is the, the, the thing with the crab treats and the artichoke hearts. That's basically what Bob's the thing with the pasta and the thing and the thing and the artichoke hearts. So what happened was about nearly 30 years ago, and Bob and I first married, or this little apartment, he's like, what's for dinner? And I go, I don't know, because I don't think we have anything in the fridge. He's like, no, no, don't we have some food? I was like, no, we have, like, nothing. Um, he's like, well, wait, don't we, don't we, we crab treats. We just got, he said, quite rightly, those little pretend, pretend crab things from the supermarket. Little pretend crabby sticks. He said, I know that we have some of those little pretend um, crabby sticks. Let's go let them. I go, yeah, we got half a pack. A little half a pack of it. Isn't that dinner? A little dinner. A half a pack of crab stick. He said, well, don't I have pasta? He said, I know we just had pasta, but can't we get a pasta again? Oh. He said, just make pasta. I said, well, we got some pasta. We got some pasta, but we're, we're out of red sauce. We're out of red sauce. He said, we're out of red sauce. I said, we're out of red sauce. I said, well, am I going to fill the pasta? He goes, uh, I don't know. So then I went into the kitchen because now I had a challenge. Now, this recipe I previously made with um, penne, penne, but I'm making it with bows, little bows, Nelly bows. It's Nelly bow pasta. Um, I'm farfel, farfel. I'm making it with the farfel stuff. Plenty. There. So, pasta! We're making the, so, we're doing this. We're making the, the pasta. So, I'm going to throw this in here. Wait, pot hold I think it's Boy, I tell you. Yes, there we go. So, I said, okay, we got pasta and we got crab treats. So, I looked in the fridge, and in the freezer, I had a tiny bit of frozen broccoli. Now, today, we're being very fancy. We actually have fresh broccoli and steed. I have steamed it, lightly steamed it because it was very hard, crunchy, fresh broccoli. And I want it not quite so crunchy. I want it somewhat cooked. So now we do um, somewhat cooked broccoli. Can I just throw something on the floor? Kitty! <laughs> See if Ross will Ross will eat broccoli. So, crab treats, but then what? Now, as you know, if you shop at Costco, they have these huge jars of artichoke hearts. And they're delicious, but you buy, you buy an artichoke heart, jar of artichoke hearts, and you have artichoke hearts like for the rest of your life because you never run out. It's the perpetual jar of artichoke hearts. Mmm! Oh, really good. So, I said, we have an artichoke heart. So, what am I going to do? I said, Aha! Remember when I showed you guys how to make a white sauce? It's the macaroni and cheese. The macaroni and cheese recipe. I said, you make a white sauce. And you boil the macaroni and cheese. I said, if you learn to make this white sauce, you'll be able to make anything. There you go. White sauce. So, pot, butter. Oh, it melted already. I didn't even have this on the pot. Half a stick of butter. That's half a stick of butter. And it is totally melted already. I need my wire whisk. Here's a whisk. Whiskey, whiskey. Okay. What is white sauce? White sauce. Ooh, that's boiling. Yes, there's the oil. Um, white sauce is when you melt butter. You melt butter. And then you put flour in it. And then you add milk. 
and so I had to run out and get the good milk. So, I got this here flour. I'm warming up that flour, which is already pretty darn warm. And I am adding flour. Now, the wet milk, look at this. You don't want lumps. You don't want, look, already, already choked. Already chokes, three for a dollar. Um, I am using this because I don't want lumps. I want my flour smooth. And I'm using this as well to do this trick. To make, look at that, that's happening. That's totally happening already. It's thickening up. Da, 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 da. We're going to need spices and things. Yeah, we are. We are, we are. Let's just get those out now. We also do have the amazing Wondra, Wondra flour, which already comes like, there you go, super sifty. You can hardly get lumps with Wondra. That's the other trick you can always do. Now, when you do this, you want it, the foaming, the foaming is good. You don't want it to brown. You don't want it to burn. You want it to foam. So you want to be very careful. You want to lower that heat. And yell, foamy, foamy, foamy. Foamy! How's my pasta? Oh, it's beautiful. So, ooh, look, it's all foamy. It's very foamy. But that's not enough flour. I'm adding more flour. Here it is. Sifty, sifty. Sifty, sifty, sifty. sifty. Stir, stir, stir. Sifty, sifty. There you go. This thing, this sauce that I am making, is the basis for all sauces, I mean, technically, even gravy that you make for uh, Thanksgiving and stuff is technically white sauce with hand dripping. So, making this here white sauce, I need more flour. Do I need more butter? Uh, it's fine. Yeah, <coughs> boil and it'll spoil. I'm adding a lot. The other thing this is the basis for is actually um, puff pastry, or yes, cream puffs. Cream puffs and eclairs, you're kidding me. See how thick that is now? It's like, ugh, solid. That's fine. I've gone a little crazy. I've made it solid. But that's all right, because now, stir, 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 whisk, 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 and milk. The salt, you can actually make cream puffs and eclairs, starting with this butter flour mixture. It's totally how you do it. And now, not yet. Cheese it. Cheese it. Come on, y'all. There we go. Whoa, and look, it's actually making it here. Look at that. Oh, look, we made cream puffs. No, we need more milk because we're going to squish this down. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Dissolve. I command you to dissolve. Look again. Look at that. Look how thick that is. That is gorgeous. It's so thick. I'm like a little concerned. I am good. Thank heavens I went to the store and I got this. Do you love the spice rack? Spiker. Bob, Bob made that. He just he just screwed a bunch of these little wire recce things in the little thing and there's all my spices. I need, I need a lot of milk. Yes. You go happen in. Keep an eye on that pasta. Looks good. Looks very good. I gotta put a little more heat over this now. There we go. Much, 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 much. Uh -huh. Oh, look at that. Gorgeous, I tell you. Oh, I'm gonna have to use the um, scrapey thing. Spatula or this case. Wooden spoons. I love wooden spoons. I love the wooden spoons. Because then I don't really have to switch up when, you know, I'm using my uh, 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 nonstick stuff. You know what I need? I need to get a plastic whisk. They make a plastic coated whisk you can use in your nonstick. Look at that. Wood, wood, wood. It scrapes it and it doesn't mess up your hands. It's lovely. Oh, look at that. Like my grandmother didn't make. Like my father used to make, actually. There we are. Lovely, lovely white sauce. Wee! Look at that. Nice and thick, nice and thick. Oh, I don't know. may need a little more. Now, the great thing about white sauce is you say, well, I need more. But you see, it thickens. It's always getting thick. Now, I'm adding all this milk like I'm thinning it out, but when I heat it, it just gets thicker. Just that. Just that, baby. You don't really want to add more flour. You don't want to add more flour. But what's on the menu? It's the Crabtree Artichoke Pasta thing. I'm going to call it Nelly Herbo. Nelly Herbo Delight. There we go. There. Whisk, whisk. Clot. Don't want dinner to clot. No. Now you don't want to add more flour because it's, it's a 
chemistry thing. It's a chemistry thing. So the flour does its thing with the butter, and then you do the milk. There we go. I'm going to turn that way down. And I'm going to do that. See, see, I'm getting all the goop off the edges. Yeah. As it's, you know, it's kind of trying to clog. I get all that off the edges. Look at that. Very smooth. Very smooth. Pretty thick. Might need a little thicker. Now, what we want it to taste like something. How does that pasta taste? <coughs> that is stir. Here's something to stir my pasta. Here it is. Come on, you. Are you done? No, you're not done. Don't stick to the bottom of the pan. That would be bad. Boil, I tell you, boil. Yes. That looks great. Doing its thing. Doing its thing. Yes. Now, we want this to taste like something. Ah, Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute pepper. Pepper, pepper, pepper. Poor Nelly. Yes, it's real good. That's clotting. It's clotting again. Pepper. Well, 21 seasoning salute. So, many kinds of pepper. That can go in there. Oh, it's trying to clot again. Hey, quick. Doctor, we need the whisk. Whisk. Fine. Also, Eau de Provence, or Italian seasoning, or oregano, salt. Now, everyone's like, hey man, where's the salt? Because you like your stuff salty. I know, I know. The artichokes are pretty salty. They'll be salty. But, me, you know how much salt I add to food? Oh, look, I'm done. That is how much salt I add to food, because I'm terrible. You know, you can use salted butter. You can use salted butter. I use sweet butter. You could use salted butter, and that'll be all the salt you'll like ever eat. So this is mighty thick. So then what happens? What happens is we again check the lovely pasta to see if it's getting done. It looks very good. It's very good. Give me one. It's good. It's spoon! 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 Spoon. That's not a spoon. That's a spoon. That's a spoon. Okay. Yes. Mr. Pasta, are we done? I don't think we are. Oh, no, that's quite stiff. You ever do a thing with spaghetti, throw it against the wall and stick? Okay, so what are we doing with these beautiful artichokes? Artichoke heart. We have to cut them into smaller pieces. Now, these are lovely, but some of them, like... For instance, this is fine. This is a quarter because it's in, as it says here, halves and quarters, halves and quarters. That's a quarter, but I'm going to cut it up into little chunks there. And now like this one. Oh, look at that. This is a full, look at that. It's a half an artichoke card. But I'm going to cut it up. I'm going to cut it once um, lengthway. Tilty, tilty. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Tilt, tilt, I tell you. Yes, tilt a whirl, tilt a whirl. Oh, you can see. Go back. Cutting it up into chunks. Just cut it into chunks. Cut it into chunks. This looks like Batman villain set. We have to fix that. Okay. We are not Batman villains. We need to straighten the camera. Okay, that's better. So, you cut it in chunks. And I'm going to need several of these cut up in chunks. Because I love them. They are so delicious. And we're going to do the same thing with our crab treats. Now, they sell two kinds of these. There's the kind that break up into little chunks and then the little sticks. But that's okay, because you can take the little sticks and you can cut them up. Mm -hmm. Eat one. Mm -hmm. Cut them up. Cut them up. Yay. Oh, that pasta's getting done. I'm hoping. There you go. I have cut them into chunks. 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 See the chunks? Yes. Stop that, my child. Chunks of crab and chunks. Of our choke heart. <laughs> More. And of course, we have chunks of broccoli. So now, what is happening? Look at all this food. It's delicious. Okay. Hunk a chunk a chunk of our choke hearts. Yes. So right now, I'm eating this. Um, chunks of artichoke heart and chunks of crab. And we have hunk. Little chunks of parsley. Broccoli. Steamed. Steamed. Oh! Oh! Partially. Partially steamed. Lightly. Boil. Boil, I tell you. Now what? Well, first of all, oh, look how thick that is. It's thick. I may need more milk. I am going to <gasps> gasp taste it. Oh! It's lovely. It's sweet. It's creamy. It needs more milk. More milk. Fresh milk! Yay! Let's just 
force them in here. Now, another thing that makes this really taste good, and also you were talking about salt. My fellow said salt. I like the angles. Is you can add Parmesan cheese. I like to add a little Parmesan cheese. Okay, maybe more than a little. I like to add a little Parmesan cheese to my white sauce here. That's another thing to do if you want it super thick. -la -la. Look at that. Yeah. And what happens if I taste that? Not too hot. Mmm! That's the ticket. A little more milk. It's a little thick. Ah, I think the sauce is almost done. I'm very excited about that. Oh, you know. Sure. And you do have to do the scrapey, scrapey thing around the bottom of the pan, getting all that delicious stuff out of the corners here because it has to all be made. It's a chemical thing. You can't have part of your sauce mixed with part of your sauce. It all has to be a cohesive thing. White sauce. <laughs> yeah, nice and good. All right, that's beautiful. So now what are we going to do? Yeah, we're going to put this stuff in it. I'm going to take this, yes. I'm just going to dump it in there. I'm just dumping it in there. Wait, we almost lost one. Where did that? And, oh, look, broccoli. <laughs> Dumped it in there. Whoa, there's those broccoli and, and, and crab and artichoke hearts. Oh, that's so good. Look at that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It, needs, um, it needs more crab. <laughs> Everything needs more crab! Everything can be improved by adding more crab and more artichoke hearts. Yay, 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 yay. A little more crab. Yeah, that's ticket. Okay. Now you can, again, you can do your own thing. Do you like peas? You can put peas in it. Do you like frozen vegetables? Frozen mixed vegetables? Do you like peas? Chopped up asparagus. Asparagus. You can chop up asparagus. You can put asparagus. Can you use chicken? You could. This is very much like a fishy thing. I don't know. You could use tuna. Use chicken. I think the crab really works with it. You could use real crab instead of cheap fake crab treats. You could, if you can get real crab, sure, do it. Do it with the real crab. Um, you know what's good? Capers. Put one more of these in. Capers are lovely. A lot of people like the capers in it. Things that you think might go good in a white sauce with broccoli and crab. Now we've got crab and broccoli and artichoke hearts in this fantastic sauce. All mixed up. Tasty, tasty. My tasting spoon real quick. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think that means it's good. A little more. Some more. Uh -huh. I'm going to add a little more cheese. It's a little. That's funny. Cheesy, cheesy, cheesy poofs. Yes. It's going to be time. Yeah, that's going to do the trick. A little more herb. Herb de Provence. more herb. Herbs. Herbs. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Now what happens? Now it gets exciting because we have to drain um, the pasta. This is always a dangerous part of the mission. Because hot water. Because hot water involved. And we to tell you to be careful and use pot holders. So we have a strainer in the sinky poo. And, oh yeah, look at that. That's lovely. Is this done? You better be done. That's hot. Let's try it. Oh, perfect. I don't like it too, you know, squishy. I don't like it too squishy. Look at this. I'm going to warm it up a little. Make it hot. All that crab, because that, that crab's cold. Warm that up a little. Yes. It's just, it's, look at that. It's so good. It's so good. You can just eat this with a spoon. You can pour this over stuff, but we're going to mix it. We're going to mix it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to mix it. All right. Come on, pasta. Pot holder. I need another one. You have to get one pot holder. Yes. Two pot holders. Okay. Look, steam. Hot, dangerous. Hot and dangerous. I'm going to back it up a little. Back it up. Back it up a little so you can drain this. Because look, there's a sink here. Whoa, look at that. Everything off. Everything's off. Okay. Ah, hot. Pouring into sink. 
taught me was when you make pasta how we make anything things continue to cook when things get really really hot like especially like fish that you don't want to cook too long um, small chicken pieces things um, get hot and then they kind of stay hot and pasta continues to cook you should always turn that pasta off a little bit before you think you have to right before it's in and then that work then you go then you go that's it because it stays it stays going what was, it, what was your worst injury? <laughs> when I got rice in my eye at the wedding. My worst injury, Little House, was when I got rice in my eye at the wedding. And, and they had to get it. Scary. Um, so now what? Now, anyway, I have this huge, <laughs> just throwing things across the room. Lovely. I have this thing. Oh, pasta. I didn't make, like, the whole bag. I made, like, half the bag because it's plenty. And I have this. Now, the pasta is still hot. I'm actually going to put a teeny bit of heat under here because, you know, it's still wet. And like I said, it was al dente. They call it al dente, as the Italians say, when it's to, just to the bite, al dente. So, now, look at that. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's wet. There it is. Scoopy, scoopy, scrapey, scrapey. Get it all. Get all the little delicious white sauce. If you're not getting all the white sauce out of the pan, La, 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 la. You use milk and you do this, and that'll help you get the rest of the stuff out. Now, I'm gonna take this here, I'm gonna, oh yeah, I'm gonna like toss it. Just the whole thing in there, yes. Oh, this is so good, I can't stand it. So, I did this, as I said, we had a little bit of frozen broccoli, we had some artichoke hearts, we had half a pack of crab treats, and I had flour and butter and milk, and we had pasta. We did penne, I think, the first time. And I mix this up. I just rip this up here. Oh, hell yeah. Look at that. And um, I made this. Now, I'm stirring this up. Not too hot, too heat. And I'm doing the milky thing in order to scrape the last of the sauce out of there so I don't miss a bite of sauce. Heaven forbid. And at this point also, this stuff's really thick in there with the pasta. So if I add a tiny bit of milky, saucy stuff... That's fine. There we go. Get it to stir. Stir, I tell you. Stir. Oh, yeah, we're going to need that. Get all that, that flavor. Flavor. Oh, my word. Look at that. Yeah, bring this over here. Yes. Crusty French bread and a glass of rosé. That's a just Bill Graff just said crunch, crunchy French bread. French bread and a glass. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Now, you can get really funky. You can put this in a casserole dish and bake it in the oven like a casserole, like a tuna casserole, for not very long, about like 15 minutes, and, and let it, you know, sort of, the flavors congeal. Um, it's also one of those things that's like good the next day kind of things. Um, but right now, this is absolutely, is this ready to eat? Yeah, look at that. Stir, 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 mix, mix, mix. Look at this. All right, this is amazing. I'm gonna lower the camera. I gotta lower the camera for you. I do, I do. I'm gonna lower this camera all the way down. And we're gonna give it a slight uh -uh. tilt. Tilt a whirl. Here we go. Tilt. There we are. And now you can see this. Look at that. Hunks of crab and broccoli and artichoke hearts and pasta. And you can do, make the sauce at different consistencies, make it thicker, make it thinner. You can add different things. You can add more crab and make it a chocolate block, but I think this is plenty. And now I'm going to get a bowl. I'm going to get a bowl. I got a fork. Oh, yeah. I'm going to dish me up. Let me make sure I get a big hunk of crab. Broccoli, lots of broccoli. Broccoli is so good for you. And that's the other thing. This is fresh broccoli, just, you know, barely steamed. So, this is, like, actually super good for you. More crab, more crab. Another of the giant artichoke parts. I'll have that. Thank you. It's just not hot. Good. It's just not hot. You can put that there. And tilt the whirl. Upsies, we go with the camera again. 
Hi, I'm up here, yes. So, look at that. I got crab and broccoli and artichoke hearts and pasta. You have no idea how good this is. I'm gonna see, oh, my favorite thing, I do. I love these. Mmm! You can add things, you can add garlic. Got little onions, you know, a little bit of onion. Little pearl onions. Look in your freezer, see what you have that you think might be good in here. Mmm! And they make. They make vegan stuff, they make vegetarian fake crab and stuff. Oh, the broccoli. The broccoli with this? Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> over my face. This is absolutely delicious. You can put, you know, more Parmesan on it at the table if you like. And uh, it is amazing. I, look how, now, look how, it did not take very long. It was all about the milk. It was all about getting milk. You boil pasta, you make a white sauce, you add stuff. Crab treats, artichoke hearts, broccoli, and anything else you think is fun. And you mix it up. That's it. That's it. I swear, you serve, people are going to think you are some kind of huge kitchen genius. Mm. This quickly <laughs> became one of Bob's favorites. Like I said, I made this because there was nothing in the house. Mm -hmm, mm. I made this because there was like nothing in the house. And I threw this together one night and said, okay, I made this thing. I just took the pasta and some broccoli and some crab fruits and artichoke hearts and I made a white sauce. I don't know. Try it. And Bob ate it and said, can you make this all the time? And this is now like a thing he requests. And it was the thing I made because it was like nothing in the house. That's, the best recipes are from when you go like, I don't have anything. And you make stuff up. That's where it comes from. So there you are. Um, you can use any kind of pasta you like. You can use spaghetti, whatever you like. So <laughs> crab treat, artichoke heart pasta something, or in this case, <laughs> Nelly Herbos, because it's the fart the bow ties. I love this thing. Um, I've made a whole vat of it. Bob is going to be so excited because it's like his favorite thing ever. And um, there you are. And it's it's super delicious. You can do chicken and broccoli. Yeah, absolutely. Just mix it up. It's just fantastic. All right. So this is who's going to do the cooking. And, you know, you can buy the aprons now. I got a couple in. I got a couple in the store. We've got aprons. You can have an apron. <laughs> apron and the bonnet at the same time. Oh my god. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. And I will see you at 1.30 because I'm going to like read again. Yeah, totally.